Okay, next up is the hierarchy. All the objects that you place on the stage or in an artboard appear in the hierarchy. Let's do a quick example. I'm going to hit O for ellipse and then drag that onto the stage. Now you can see that this ellipse is a child of the artboard and that the ellipse and the artboard are in the hierarchy. The hierarchy is a tree view which shows you the parent and child relationship between the items on the stage. The parent and child relationships are very important as they allow us to create complex layered animations with minimal effort. Let me show you an example. We are going to duplicate this ellipse. So while this is selected, hit Ctrl J, then hit Translate and move the new ellipse to the right. Hit O for ellipse and create a new ellipse. Hit T for Translate, select the ellipse, and then we're going to say Convert to Path and Edit Vertices. And selecting the top vertices, we're going to delete that and select the two in the middle and make them straight. And there we have a smiley. We can either say done editing or hit escape. Now I would like to keep these aligned. So let's align these to be center left or to be left aligned to the mouth. So we'll hit the mouth again. And as you can see, it's highlighted a bit more. That means if we use the alignment tools, the eye will now be aligned to the mouth. So hit left align and then do the same for the right side. Hit the mouth again and click right align. Okay, now we have all of these shapes, but let's say we want to move them to the center of the artboard. We can obviously select all of them and do a translation. However, we would like to keep these together. We would like it to be um, more universal for example, let's say we want to do a rotation. How do we rota rotate all of these uniformly? We can hit rotate and rotate them, but now it's only rotating one. Hit rotate again, as you can see. What we can do is we can group these together. So I'm going to select all of these and hit Control G. Now these are grouped together. And a group is simply a node. So we can create as many nodes as we want. As you can see, we're defining a lot of parent and child nodes. And a node is the most simple object in Flare. It's essentially something to give you a transform space. And by transform space, I mean you can define the position, the scale, and the rotation for this node and all of its children. So as an example, we're going to select this group. and I'm going to rename this to be the face. And then select face. And if we hit T for translate, now we have the center node in the middle and we can translate the entire thing. And we can hit rotate and we can rotate the entire object. As I said, this is an important concept in Flare as it does allow us to more easily create layered and structured animations.